Here's Cabrini. Faced by Blair. Bettiger. And a nice turn. Williams with him. Cabrini with the cross. Oh, and a magnificent goal by Paolo Rossi again. The man who scored six in the World Cup finals. Scores a spectacular opener after a really good move down the left side involving first Bettiger and then Cabrini. And no wonder the Italian supporters are showing their utter delight. It was a lovely turn in the first place by Bettiger. Then he set up Cabrini for the cross. And look at the space that Rossi had coming in on the near. Rossi. Cabrini. With a great bit of freedom once more. Thinking about the shot, and it wasn't a bad one either. He was destined to go inside the near post. Now Blair. Now Morley. With in the middle, Shaw in the middle. Here's Shaw, it's a useful turn, but he can't get the stab in. And the referee looking from some distance away as Shaw turns and appeals for a penalty for a push as he was bundled over in his efforts to get the ball. But the referee probably saw that as evens and he could well have been right. A corner is all that Villa gets. And Shaw waits in the six-yard area. Alongside Gentile, McNaught can't get to the ball, came down to Blair, and it's a goal kick. A little bit of jumping going on, Morley, good challenge by Shirea, but Cowens, Gibson calling for it this side, number three. Everything right of him. Oh, that's a fine try! And a super goal by Gordon Cowens. 54 minutes. And Gordon Cowens brings Villa Park to life. The Italians were conscious of the head of Peter Wynn. And Cowens appeared in front of Wynn. It's going for Wynn now. In comes Cowens. And it was a lovely goal. Still no sign of movement on the uh, Villa bench. And here's Rossi! And he's pushed onto the far post. And Villa escaped. They went to sleep then. And Villa seemed to go to sleep from the free kick. And this was hit very hard by Rossi. And the parry took it up onto the woodwork and away. That's a lovely ball by Patini and Bunny! Oh, what a marvellous goal! The two foreigners who it is said have found it difficult to settle to Italian football contrive a second goal for Juventus with just seven minutes of this first leg remaining. It was quite superbly played through first time with the outside of the right boot and finished with a rasping shot that gave Spink no earthly chance. Gibson to his left, Shaw with the other way. The seconds running out, the referee looks at his watch. And how part it appeals, but the whistle which blows is the final whistle. And Juventus have gained a 2-1 victory from this first leg. Their opening goal by Rossi after only 40 seconds, and it took really Villa all the first half and a little bit of the second to recover. Boniek getting their second with Gordon Cowens suggesting a Villa comeback, which in the end died. It would be wrong to write off their chances. They still have a hold on the European Cup, albeit a tenuous one. What one can say in all simplicity is that Aston Villa will need to produce their best performance so far in European football if they are to retain the European Cup when they go to play Juventus in Turin.